Hello friends, welcome to another video of Hybrid Academy. In today's session, we will learn about plastics. Not every plastic is the same. So let's see what is plastic. Plastics are a wide range of synthetic or semi-synthetic materials that use polymers as a main ingredient. Their plasticity makes it possible for plastics to be molded extruded or pressed into solid objects of various shapes. Not every plastic is the same or is born equal. As a matter of fact, plastic can be found in a variety of different shapes, colors and also in many different types. Each one is different from the other and has different uses. For example, some types of plastic are reusable and others aren't because of the chemicals they contain. Some can be recycled and others need to be disposed in a different way. In order to make you better informed on the decisions related to the products that you buy, we will go through 7 different types of plastics, how they differ and what is their impact on the environment. So as we learned in the previous slide that there are 7 different types of plastic, let's learn about different types and why plastics are categorized in different types. So let's first see why are there different types of plastic. In 1988, the Society of the Plastics Industry introduced the Raising Identification Code RIC system which divided plastic raisins into seven different categories. The purpose was to provide consistent national system to facilitate recycling of post-consumer plastics. Since then, after undergoing some minor variation, the RIC has been recognized as a worldwide standard for plastic classification. So plastics are majorly categorized in seven different categories. The first one is PET, that is polyethylene terephthalate. Second is HDPE, which is high density polyethylene. The third one is PVC, that is polyvinyl chloride. The fourth one is LDPE, which is low density polyethylene. The fifth one is PP, which is polypropylene. The sixth one is PS, which is polystyrene. And apart from that, we have some other variants of plastics. Majorly, they are polycarbonate. So let's learn further on all these categories. Plastics that belong to group number one are made out of polyethylene terephthalate or PET. It holds the number one spot because of its widespread utility. It is mostly used for food and drink packaging purposes due to its strong ability to prevent oxygen from getting in and spoiling the product inside. It's usually picked up through most curbside recycling programs and has tremendously positive track record. In fact, Pet bottles are most widely recycled plastics in the world. So all the beverage bottles use pet type of plastic. HDPE or with the technical name high density polyethylene. It's an incredible resistant resin used for grocery bags, milk jugs, recycling bins, agricultural pipe, but also playground equipments, lids and shampoo bottles among others. Because it's made with long unbranched polymer chains, it's much stronger and thicker than PET. Also, it is relatively hard and resistant to impact and can be subjected to temperatures of up to 120 degrees Celsius without being affected. As far as its disposal is concerned, HDPE is accepted at most recycling centers in the world as it is one of the easiest plastic polymers to recycle. Shampoo and other packaging bottles use HDPE type of plastic. Polyvinyl chloride or PVC is the world's third most widely produced synthetic plastic polymer. It comes in two basic forms, rigid and flexible. In its rigid form, PVC is largely used in the building and construction industry to produce door and window profiles and pipes both drinking and wastewater. 
when mixed with other substances it can be made softer and flexible applied to plumbing wiring electrical cable insulations and flooring etc it has versatile properties such as lightness durability and easiness of processability so pvc is now replacing traditional building materials like wood metal concrete rubber ceramics etc despite of so many advantages it is still hardly recyclable and should therefore be avoided wherever possible plumbing pipes use pvc type of plastic low density polyethylene or ldpe is a softer clearer and more flexible version of hdpe it's often used as a liner inside beverage cartons and in corrosion resistant work surfaces and other products contrary to hdpe ldpe is categorized by low density molecules giving this resin a thinner and more flexible design it has the simplest structure of all the plastics making it easy and cheap to produce used in plastic bags various containers dispensing bottles and most famously for plastic wraps is not often recycled plastic bags and wraps use ldpe type of plastic polypropylene or pp is the second most widely produced commodity plastic and its market is forecasted to grow even more in the following years hard and sturdy it can withstand high temperatures and is found in ropes tupperwares car parts thermal vests yogurt containers and even disposable diapers fun fact about pp because it is very resistant to fatigue pp is usually used for living hinges the thin piece of plastic that allows a part of a product to fold or bend from 1 to 180 degree plastic ropes use pp type of plastic due to its flexibility polystyrene is the sixth type of plastic on the list It is a synthetic hydrocarbon polymer made up of monomer referred to as styrene. It can either be in solid or foam form, commonly known as styrofoam or thermocol. Commonly used polystyrene is transparent, hard and brittle. It is mostly used for plastic forks, DVD cases, computer housing, toys, rulers, hair combs, disposable cutlery. packaging materials egg cartons etc it's highly inflammable and dangerous as it can leach harmful chemicals especially when heated environmentally speaking it's among the worst type of plastic as it is regarded as non biodegradable also the polystyrene foam blows in the wind and floats on water due to its low specific gravity Animals do not recognize it as artificial and may mistake it for food causing serious effects on the health as they might swallow it. Thermocol, disposable cutlery, packaging materials use polystyrene. Other miscellaneous plastics are plastic which is different from all plastic. It is polycarbonate polylactide acrylic acrylonitrile butyrene styrene fiberglass and nylon if plastic cannot be identified in the six types mentioned before then it will be included in group number 7 the best known plastics for this type of group are polycarbonates or pc used to build strong tough products like cds dvds baby bottles large water bottles medical equipments eye glasses etc it is not easy to interrupt down these plastics once they are created unless they are exposed to high temperatures which in turn releases bisphenol a bpa a compound that is on the list of potential environmental hazardous chemicals the decomposition of bpa in landfills never occurs which means that this chemical will be persistent in the ground and will eventually lead to water bodies 
contributing to aquatic pollution. Plastic number 7 is almost never recycled. Baby bottles and medical equipments use polycarbonate. Here is a brief recap of what we have learned so far about the 7 different categories of plastic. I'm sure you must have seen below the bottles, below the other plastic products and of course on the lid of some plastic products regarding different RIC code that is resin identification codes which are embedded on different plastic products on their lids or the bottom just to identify that they fall under which category. Please remember to opt for reusable alternatives of plastic to avoid purchasing the dangerous type and recycle as much as possible the type of plastic that you can. Now as we know about plastic and different categories of plastic, let's also know about plastic pollution and alternatives. Stop plastic pollution. Reduce, it's a simple math. Less plastic produced equals less plastic waste. By cutting down on single-use plastics such as bags, bottles and straws, we can make a huge dent in the plastic problem. Please remember that every plastic-free choice counts. Reuse Instead of throwing it away, why not to repurpose it? Use that empty jar as a vase or that old t-shirt as a cleaning rag. Being eco-friendly can also be fun and creative. Recycle Communities around the world are now emphasizing recycling. By segregating our trash, we ensure that plastics get new leaves on life rather than ending up in the landfills. Now let's also learn what are the alternatives to plastic. Bioplastics Derived from renewable sources, bioplastics can be great alternative. Made from things like cornstarch or sugarcane, they compose faster than conventional plastics. Plant-based materials Do you remember when straws were made of paper and boxes from cardboard? Going back to our roots can be solution to plastic problem. Preventing plastic pollution isn't the responsibility of a select few. It is a collective effort where each of us plays a crucial part. By adopting sustainable practices, supporting eco-friendly supporting eco products and spreading awareness, we can ensure a clean and green earth for generations to come. Preventing plastic pollution isn't the responsibility of a select few. It is a collective effort where each of us plays a crucial part. By adopting sustainable practices, supporting eco, supporting eco-friendly products and spreading awareness, we can ensure a clean and green earth for generations to come. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the content, please like the video and share the video with your family and friends so that they also get benefited with this knowledge and information. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos. Thank you, take care and stay safe.